Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, we are making the slouch beanie here. This one is about 20 inches in circumference, which fits my head. I actually used Red Hearts Super Saver um, in Chunky, so this is category 5. So for this one, I used a 6.5 for the brim and then an eight millimeter for the main body. Okay, and if you wanna purchase the uh, PDF pattern, there are links to my shop below. Okay, so let's talk about the materials that you'll need. Okay, so this is adaptable for any weight yarn. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Lion Brands Scarfy. Okay, this is also category five but it's slightly thinner than the other one so i will be using what it recommends is a 6.5 this is a size k okay and this is knitter's pride's rose collection crochet hook with crystals um, at the tip right there and then i'm going to use a size smaller for the brim so this one is a I 5.5 millimeter and you'll need a pair of scissors tape measure a tapestry needle and a stitch marker if you need okay so let's get started so you're going to start with the smaller hook size for the brim and we're going to chain um, any number of chain stitches for the height of the brim so for this one, I'm going to chain five. Okay, maybe six. And that'll pretty much be the height of the brim. So into the second chain from the hook, that's the first chain, that's the second. Working into the back hump, you want to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so that's one single crochet. You're going to work one single crochet into every stitch across and we're working into the back humps. So the back side of your chain stitches. Okay, so you should have one uh, less than what you chained. I chained six and I have five stitches. So you want to chain one and turn. Now we're going to work in through the back loops, okay? So here's the front loop and that's the back loop right there. You're going to insert your hook into the back loop and then work your single crochet, okay? The next stitch through the back loop, work your single crochet. Okay, so we're just working one single crochet through the back loop of every stitch across. And if you need, count your stitches. One, two, three, four, five. So I still want to maintain the five stitches. Chain one and turn, and we're just repeating the last row. Chaining one, turning, and then working one single crochet through the back loops of every stitch across. Okay, so you're going to continue this until you get the desired circumference size. Okay, so what you wanna do is stop at the same side as your beginning tail, which gives you an odd number of uh, rows. This one is 29 rows. It measures about 11 and a half inches. If you give it a gentle stretch, it's about 14 inches, okay? So now you want to join your brim, okay? So grabbing the beginning tail, bring it up in front of you, okay? So you're going to work through the first stitch right here and then through the back loop of the other stitch on the other side, okay? Yarn over, pull through, pull through. That's a slip stitch into the next stitch 
and then the back loops of the the back side yarn over pull through and then continue working your slip stitch across Okay, turn so that the seam is on the inside. Now you want to switch to your larger hook. Okay, so I'm switching to the larger hook size. Okay, so now you want to work a setup round all the way around the top of the brim um, in multiples of six stitches. So we're working single crochets around the brim in multiples of six stitches. If you don't have enough, always go up rather than go down okay so I just have one stitch so I can just make an increase anywhere um, along the top of the brim if you have two or three or four I mean if you have two you can just put one here and one on this side um, if you have multiples let's say you need four more stitches um, you can take your total number of rows divided by four and then that's how many stitches you will work before you do an increase. Okay, chain one, one single crochet right into the same stitch. Okay, so right here where the ridge is, you want right on top, you want to work your second stitch. That's two. Okay, right here in the next row, you want to work. Make sure you go through two loops, okay? Work your single crochet. And then on the ridge again, right into the top between the V, between the Vs right here that you see on the ridge. And then again, in the next row, through two loops, one single crochet. So I'm just going to work my increase here. That's one and two. Okay, because I have 29, I want a total of 30 stitches. There's, I already worked my increase, so now I just, um, I don't need to worry about increasing for the remaining of the brim. So I'm just going to work one single crochet in every row. Now we're going to start round one. And for round one, you're going to chain two and that does not count as a stitch. So we're going to work right in the same stitch, our first double crochet stitch. Okay, to work a double crochet, you want to yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so you want to work one double crochet in every stitch around. Okay, I'm at the end of my round. I have one more double crochet stitch and then you're going to slip stitch to the first double crochet stitch right there the chain two does not count as a stitch so you're going to work right on top work a slip stitch okay so now we're ready for round two okay so round two we're going to chain two which does not count as a stitch and then we're going to work one double crochet and a front post treble together as one stitch. Okay, so to work that stitch, you want to yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so we're not going to complete that double crochet. We're going to yarn over twice. And then count three double crochet stitches over Remember this one is a chain two, so it looks like a double crochet, but it's just a chain two stitch. So your stitch actually starts with this one. So it's one, two, three. Okay, into the third post from right to left, insert your hook around the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so with three loops on your hook, you want to yarn over and pull through all three. So every time you work a combination of a double crochet and a um, front post treble, you want to finish off with three loops left on your hook. So now we're going to 
work into the next three stitches. We're working one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, into the next two stitches, you want to work one double crochet each. Okay, so now we're going to do the reverse of the stitch here. We're going to start with the front post treble, yarn over twice, but we're not going to complete that stitch. Okay, oh, through the same post, so work around the same post, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, not completing that stitch, you want to yarn over and work a double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, again, you want to always complete this stitch with three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, and then into the next post stitch, make sure you have two double crochets between every post stitch. Okay, in the next stitch, we're going to work one front post treble, so yarn over twice around that next post, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so that's going to be the repeat. Okay, this is the way I look at it. I like to try and understand uh, what I'm doing first. Um, it just makes the process easier. So in between these post stitches are the panels of um, these other stitches here, which are five stitches and then this is the sixth stitch. That's the repeat So when we start here There's two double crochet stitches between every post stitch Okay, so we're repeating this set again a double and a front post treble together Okay Without completing the double crochet you want to yarn over twice to work your front post treble and then you want to leave three loops on your hook before yarning over and completing um, the stitch together. Okay, now we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now we're working a reverse of that first stitch we made. So a front post treble first, leaving two loops on your hook, and then a double crochet to finish off with three loops on your hook, pull through all three. Okay, front post treble in the next post stitch here. And then we're ready to work the repeat again into the next stitch, work your double, and then yarn over twice. Remember when you're working the double, you're not completing it. Around the post, yarn over, pull through until you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. One double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now we're working a front post treble and a double crochet together. And always complete with three loops on your hook. And then a front post treble into the next stitch. Okay, I'm going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, this is my last post stitch here. And then I I'm going to want to slip stitch right through that first stitch from the beginning. Okay, now we're ready for round three. Okay, so round three, chain two. We're going to 
complete a double and a front post treble at the same time just like you did down here okay into the same stitch work your double crochet leaving two loops on your hook yarn over twice work your front post treble into the middle double crochet post of the three from last round and always complete it with three loops on your hook okay the next three stitches are going to be worked with one double crochet in every stitch one two and three okay so this post here is the next stitch look if you look at this post right up here so we're going to complete this section um, with a front post treble and a double crochet together okay with two loops you want to complete this uh, set with a double crochet always complete it with three loops on your hook and then the front post treble you're just working a front post treble on the next one now you're going to have to skip that one right behind it and work on the next set so it's very similar to the last round but it's easier to tell um, where to work your post stitches now since you already have um, everything sort of set in sections whereas down here you were look you had to count your double crochet stitches to know where you were working your post stitches you're just repeating all the way around okay so I'm at the last post stitch here front post treble crochet stitch and then slip stitch to this first set here right through the two loops okay so you're just going to repeat round three okay just remember that this post and the first double crochet is worked together this one is also worked together with three double crochet stitches in between and then between each panel each set is a front post treble crochet stitch and the chain two does not count as a stitch okay so you can see here that's the these panels are divided by the front post treble okay and then depending on the size yarn you're going to be using um, I started my decrease right here okay and that was about three and a half inches of decrease so I stopped when my beanie measured about nine and a half inches for the slouch now this one is going to to give me of course less than three and a half inches because I'm using a six 0.5 millimeter instead of an 8 which I used for this one so just know that there are one two three four five rounds well actually four because this fifth one is half double crochets so if you look at the five rounds here when you're doing your body portion you can measure to see um, how many inches those five rounds are going to be um, that will give you an idea of how many inches of um, decrease you'll have okay so I'm just going to jump right into the decrease since I do have a small sample here so round one of decrease you're going to chain two again that doesn't count as a stitch the first stitch you're working is going to be the same so we're pretty much working the decrease this first round of decrease just like uh, round three except you're going to work the three stitches here together so let's get started yarn over into the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two 
Okay, you want to now work your front post treble and then always complete it with three stitches. So here is where it starts to change. You want to double crochet these three together. Okay, to do that you want to yarn over, insert your hook into that first double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, repeat that two more times, yarn over, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And then with four loops on your hook, you want to yarn over and pull through all four. So now we've worked a double crochet three together. And then this last stitch with the front post treble and the double crochet here is going to be the same. Yarn over twice into the same post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and now work your double crochet stitch and then complete it with three loops. Okay, your front post treble crochet. Okay, so that's what we're repeating all the way around for round one of decrease. You're working it very similar to what you've been doing except you're working the three double crochet stitches as a decrease. So a double crochet three together. Next set, work your double and treble front post or front post treble together. Okay, so now work your double crochet three together and over the next three stitches. So basically you're not completing each double crochet. You're just working it halfway, sort of. Okay, now you have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. Work your front post treble and double crochet together. Okay, and now work your front post treble crochet stitch. Okay, so just repeat that all the way around. I'm going to slip stitch to the first set here, first stitch, okay. Now we're ready for round two of decreases. Okay, so for round two, you want to chain two. Okay, so now you wanna work one double crochet and one front post treble, but you're working the treble um, around the decrease from the last round, okay. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, and then you're going to just go behind all three of those double crochet stitches, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then with three loops, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so now you just have the one stitch because remember we decrease all three of them into one. So you're just going to work one double crochet right into that stitch. Now we're ready to work the second set of front post trebles. So yarn over twice around the same decrease stitch down here. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And then with two loops, you want to complete that with the double crochet right here on the next stitch. Always complete it with three loops on your hook. 
And then we have the front post treble that remains the same for now. Okay. And we're working that set again. So the double crochet and the front post treble around the decrease stitch from the last row or round. Complete it with three loops on your hook. Then we have just the one double crochet right behind it. Work your one double crochet and then complete your treble fr front post treble and double crochet together. Okay. Complete it with three loops on your hook. Okay, now we have the front post treble. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat all the way around. Make sure you work around all three of those double crochet stitches because they were decreased down to one and just one double crochet right behind it. Okay, so this is the last front post treble crochet stitch. Slip stitch to the first stitch here. Okay, so round three decrease. We're going to chain two. And then what you're going to do is work your front post treble crochet right into that middle double crochet stitch. We're not working the side double crochet stitches. So yarn over twice right through that middle double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Okay, since we skipped the two, we're going to work a double crochet two together with those two stitches, skipping the middle one. Okay. So we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch and the third stitch, skipping the middle post stitch. And we're working those two double crochets together. Yarn over into the first stitch. Here's the three, one, two, three, into the first one. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and we are working a decrease, so we're going to skip that stitch. Yarn over into the next one. Yarn over, pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And then we're going to work a front post treble right into the same stitch or same post as the very first one that we worked. Okay, now we're just going to work right into this front post treble and that's the repeat all the way around. Okay, so right into the next double crochet stitch in the middle, working a front post treble. And then behind here in the three stitches, we're working a double crochet two together in the first and third stitch, skipping the middle post stitch here. Okay, into the first stitch and we're working half of a double crochet and then into this one that we skip one okay work a uh, double crochet two together okay a post stitch front post treble into that same one we just worked and then a front post treble right into the next post stitch okay so repeat that all the way around
Okay, so this is the last front post treble crochet stitch and then you want to slip stitch to the first front post treble here. Okay, so now we're working round four. You want to chain two and then what we're going to do now is decrease um, these three stitches with one double crochet, one front post double crochet, and then another one double crochet, but we're working all those three together, okay? We're no longer working a treble, okay? So yarn over into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We're not going to complete that. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet right into that middle stitch here, which we decreased with two, okay? So make sure you yarn over and go through both of the post stitches from the last round. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. Okay, into this last stitch here, we're working another double crochet. Yarn over, into that last stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. Okay, so for the front post treble that we have been working this whole time, we're going to now work a front post double, okay? So just yarn over once into the post or around the post and then work a front post double crochet, okay? So now we're back at the three stitches here. We're going to work one double or half of a double crochet stitch and then we're going to work around the post of these two double crochets down here. Yarn over through both post stitches because it's it was decreased into one. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, leave those loops on your hook. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, yarn over, pull through all four. Okay, so now we're working a front post double. And we're back at the three. Okay, so we're just decreasing all three stitches with a double, a front post double, and a double together. Is that such a thing? <laughs> okay, so a front post double crochet. I don't know, I sort of just made this up as I went. Okay, the next three, one double, one front post double, and then one double, all together. Front post double crochet, and then we're at the other decrease again, okay? front post double, we're at the beginning. So I forgot to use my stitch marker, but if you mark your first stitch here, that's where you will join your round. Okay, so we have one last round, round five. You want to chain one. That doesn't count as a stitch. So what we're going to do is work since this is all decreased into one stitch, we're going to work a half double crochet and then a half, a front post half double crochet. Okay, so yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop with three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, yarn over around the post of the next stitch and then yarn over and pull through all three. So we're working half double crochets on the very last round. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through three. Okay, front post half double crochet, yarn over around the post, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so just repeat that all the way around.
Okay, so this is the beginning. I'm really bad at using stitch markers. So this was my first half double crochet. And if I had put my stitch marker there, that's where it would have been when I came around. <laughs> so you want to slip stitch to the first half double crochet. And I feel like the stitch markers are only necessary um, when this when the stitches are small, especially like at the decrease, because it's harder to tell. But when you have tall stitches, it's um, very obvious when you get to the beginning. Plus you have your tail that you can use as a guide. Okay, so now we want to fasten off. So run your tail through the loop, tighten. I'm not gonna pull so tight because this yarn will break. Okay, so what you want to do now is just run your needle through each of the stitches on top. Usually I just do this. So just weave it through the stitches and then you want to go right through the middle and weave in your ends on the inside. Okay, just run your needle through and then make sure that's tight. Wrap your yarn about twice, hold on to the yarn and the needle, and then pull this to tighten. Okay, don't forget your beginning tail. Weave that in as well. Okay guys, I think that's that's so cute. I love when I make um, my samples for tutorials because they turn out so tiny and cute. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. See you next time.